Today on Leaf by Leaf. He built a small house called a cocoon around himself. He stayed inside for more than two weeks. Then he nibbled a hole in the cocoon. Hey everybody, thank you for watching Leaf by Leaf today. We're talking about the children's book sensation, A Very Hungry Caterpillar by Eric Carl. Eric Carl has a unique flavor in terms of the visual representation, the sonic representation, and of course the textual representation of his world. He's put out plenty of books. Some of my favorites include From Head to Toe, Today is Monday, and The Artist Who Painted a Blue Horse, which was the first book that really captured <laughs> But it was, is, and always will be a very hungry caterpillar for which Eric Carl's craft is known. Of course, the book has had its detractors. Feels difficult for its own sake. All of this book is incoherent babble. You can put it in your front pocket, your side pocket, you can put it wherever you like. There's a lot more going on here than is immediately apparent. Obviously, as this caterpillar is going through Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, yes, we know that there's a subtle pedagogy that's going on. <coughs> whereby Carl is acqu <laughs> acquainting young readers with the days of the week. But look at the consumption that's taking, taking place. place. I mean, I mean three, three plums, plums, four, four strawberries, strawberries five, five oranges, oranges, and then Saturday, Saturday he just goes, just to, goes town, to town consuming, consuming like a madman. Mad it's no it's wonder, no that, wonder that, 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 that that night he had, he a, had stomach a stomach ache. So what are we talking about here? We're talking, of course, about American overindulgence. And one would think that Carl's goal here is trying to shed a negative light on overindulgence. You know, we want to keep our kids healthy. We don't want them consuming all these sugary drinks. But then what does he land on? But the fact that if they do overindulge and consume, 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 they'll become a beautiful, colorful butterfly. So then my first inclination is that Carl is adding to the propaganda to brainwash our children into child obesity and prime them for spending endless amounts of money. 40, 40, no, 5, no, 5, no, 45, 45, no, 5. There's an irony at work here that's easy to miss. No. I've been waving it around. I decided to abandon it at the halfway mark and I'll be selling it. <laughs> 